The Gulf Coast Limited was a passenger train operated by Amtrak in the southern United States. It ran daily from Mobile, Alabama, to New Orleans Union Passenger Terminal in New Orleans, Louisiana. Topic route The Gulf Coast Limited operated over a 145-mile route from New Orleans to Mobile, hugging the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. The majority of this route is now owned by CSX Transportation NO &M subdivision, save a few miles around the New Orleans Union Passenger Terminal and East City Junction, which are owned by Amtrak and the Norfolk Southern Railway, respectively. History The Gulf Coast Limited was also the name of a train operated by the Atlantic Coast Line Railroad between New York and the west coast of Florida. <laughs> First iteration The Gulf Coast Limited grew out of a feasibility study conducted by the Louisiana-Mississippi-Alabama Rapid Rail Transit Commission in the early 1980s. The study sought a commuter rail service centered on New Orleans linking Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Slidell, Louisiana or Mobile, Alabama. In the end the commission opted for a New Orleans—Mobile service, prompted in part by the 1984 Louisiana World Exposition. The three states entered into a 403B arrangement with Amtrak. Under this provision, Amtrak undertakes to operate a service, but the contracting states subsidize most of the cost. The first train ran on April 29, 1984. In the fall, Amtrak explored extending the Gulf Coast Limited from Mobile to Birmingham, Alabama, a route later served by the Gulf Breeze, but did not alter the train's route. The train was popular, but service ended on January 6, 1985 after Mississippi declined to continue its support. <laughs> Second iteration Amtrak revived the Gulf Coast Limited on June 27, 1996 following the cancellation of the Gulf Breeze. The states of Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi each contributed $185,000 for a 90-day trial run. Amtrak estimated that yearly operation would cost $3.1 million. The train used the same route as its 1984 precursor but did not stop in East New Orleans. Initial ridership was higher than expected, a standard consist could seat 134, but weekend trains regularly carried 300, against 50 to 60 on weekdays. A federal appropriation allowed Amtrak to extend the Gulf Coast Limited six months beyond the trial period, but additional state money was not forthcoming. Service ended March 31, 1997. See also Gulf Breeze Sunset Limited